welded into position, the next step is to install the annular into the pipe. In this chapter, we will show the installation process for both a pack lock assembly and then a flange flow tap assembly for a pipe that is in service. We will begin by demonstrating how to install the pack lock assembly. Start by screwing the threaded studs into the pack lock body. Next, mark the bottom of the annular sensor with a felt tip marker. Then insert the sensor through the pack lock body into the pipe until it makes contact with the far side pipe wall. Remove the sensor and verify that contact was made by checking to see that some of the mark was rubbed off the sensor's end. Next, reinsert the annular sensor into the pipe. Note that the letters H for high and L for low are imprinted on the top of the head or on the integral manifold. The H must face upstream into the direction of the flow. Look for the flow arrow also imprinted on the head to confirm the correct orientation. Carefully insert the three packing rings provided in the manila envelope. They should be installed one at a time between the welded lock ring and the packing follower. To avoid potential leak paths, do not overlap the gaps in the packing. Start a piece of packing at each stud. Use the follower to compress the rings into the slot. Once the packing is in place, push the packing follower down into the pack lock body, forcing the packing against the welded lock ring. Finally, place the split ring lock washers on each of the studs between the nut and the compression plate. Tighten each nut in succession until the split ring washer is flat between the nut and the compression plate. These special spring-loaded split washers are designed so the installer knows when to stop tightening the bolts. This will prevent too much torque from being applied, which could potentially bend the sensor. If your unit did not come with a transmitter, you are now ready to mount one on the pack lock assembly. 